Okay, we'll do two more examples. This is for your page 72 in your notebook if you want a few more examples. We're ready for example 17. And example 17 wants us to solve ln of x minus ln of x minus 3 equals ln of 3. So like in class, we talked about the very first step we're going to do is combine any logs that are on the same side of this equal sign. So we'll put these two together. So we'll write ln once. This is subtraction, so we're going to have division. This x is first, so we'll put it on top. And this x minus 3 is second. It'll go on the bottom. And this other side we'll just copy. Step two is to deal with the logs. And in this case, there's a log on both sides, so we can just cancel them out. And that leaves us with x over x minus 3 equals 3. And we'll put that as over 1. The next step is to solve that, and we'll cross multiply. So 1 times x is just x. And here we'll have 3 times x minus 3. Hang on a second. Let me get some more room to work. So this is where we left off, and now we need to solve this problem. So over here we'll distribute. We get 3x minus 9. I'm going to move the 3x to the left. So I get negative 2x equals negative 9. Divide both sides by negative 2, and that x equals 9 halves. So again, we need to check and make sure that we don't have any issues with this answer. So if I put that 9 halves in place of this x, I get ln of 9 halves. This is a positive number, so that's okay. If I put L, um, 9 halves in this one, I get ln of 3 over 2, which is a positive answer. And this one already is positive. So there's no problem, and our answer is 9 over 2. We'll do, look at one more. This will be our example 18, and it's still on page 72. And this time we're solving log base 4 of 3x plus 5 equals 3. Now this problem doesn't have more than one log. This is just a little bit of a review. Because there's nothing to combine or condense, we get to just start by rewriting it. So I'll take this 4 to the power of 3, and then equals 3x plus 5. So 4 to the power of 3 is 64. I'll subtract 5 from both sides, so I get 59 equals 3x, and then divide both sides by 3. So I get 59 over 3, I don't think that reduces, is equal to x. So we need to check that still. So we'll look up here, and we just need to see if this is a still a positive number when I put that in here. So 3 times 59 over 3 plus 5. 3 times 59 over 3 is just 59. And 59 plus 5 is 64. So that's positive. So this is an okay answer. So our answer is 59 over 3.